Yo guys, Marlon King here. Today I want to do a quick review of this Microsoft Designer Compact Keyboard. Now, there are a lot of compact keyboards around, however, most of them aren't that good. And inevitably, you end up either looking at the Apple Magic Keyboard or the Logitech MX range. Now, the reasons I didn't want to go for them are twofold. The Apple one, firstly, it's more designed for Apple products and I don't generally use PC. And secondly, the MX one had round keys, which I didn't really fancy, which kind of left me with this. It was a little bit of an oddball. However, Microsoft keyboards in general have been pretty good. And when you look at something like this, this is the old keyboard I was using. And this is the uh, comparison. So it's kind of like a laptop uh, style keypad. Um, there is a little bit of movement there and it does have a little bit of a clicking noise, which is nice. I've been using it now for about between three and six months and I found it to work really well. Um, now a few things that I saw on the reviews, one was commenting about the battery life. Now it says you can have up to 36 months with the same batteries. I've only been using it as I say maximum about six months so I can't really comment on that. Um, other things that have been mentioned was to do with the Bluetooth connectivity and it said it would drop out. Now it does go into battery saving mode. So um, if you're not using it for a period of time, it will automatically kind of go into a sleep like mode until you press a key. But I've generally found it's been pretty responsive. Now you've got this button up here, so you can click this and select between three different devices. Now this was quite crucial for me um, as part of decluttering my desk and removing wires. I wanted to make sure that I could flick between my work computer which or laptop which is generally here throughout the week and my main computer in the, which I use in the evenings and the weekend. Um, and then the, the extra option I've used for my phone which in general I never need to use but I just wanted to test it out and I can confirm I can type with this onto my keyboard uh, sorry onto my phone so that works really well and I've been really happy with that um, so my laptop it connected straight away because the laptop had Bluetooth built in with my desktop I did have to buy a little Bluetooth dongle but I haven't had any issues with that so just touching back on connectivity I found that um, my older laptop did occasionally when, let's say, I put it in sleep mode, go down for lunch. Um, sorry, not sleep mode, I'd lock the computer, I'd go down for lunch. When I'd come back, I'd find that it, there would sometimes be between five and 10 seconds bef before it would kind of reconnect to the Bluetooth uh, on that laptop. Now, with my new laptop that I've just recently got, um, it seems to happen a lot faster, like two to three seconds, if that. Normally I just press the key and it's almost found the connection straight away. So I do think if you have connectivity issues, it could well be down to the Bluetooth um, dongle or whatever you're using, the laptop built-in Bluetooth may not be as good as it should be. Um, and it's not necessarily gonna be this keyboard that is at fault. So let's talk about some of the features on this. Well, outside of how thin it is, which is really nice to use, this is plastic construction. Um, unlike the metal construction of some other keyboards such as like the Magic one. Um, but I haven't found that to be an issue. It's still got a little bit of a weight to it. It sits on the desk nice. It's got these little rubber pads here on the back. So it does help keep it um, in place. Um, you don't have an adjustable stand, but there is just a very slight gradient there that um, helps with typing. Um, the batteries tuck in nicely in there, those tiny little round ones. And you've got an on off switch here if you're not gonna be using it for a period of time. I generally leave this always on, doesn't seem to affect performance at all for me. Now with the keypad, what I found quite interesting, you've got this little emoji button here, so um, that might be helpful to some. I generally find I don't use emojis much when I'm using my work computer or my main computer. That's more sort of thing I do on my phone uh, for social platforms, so not been useful for me but I'm sure it'll be useful for others. Um, things to note it's got a nice size uh, enter key here or return key depending on what you want to call it um, and a nice size shift key but on this other side here you've got a tiny shift key and that I found a little bit annoying to start off with. Um, another thing that's worth noting is by default this keyboard um, has all of these extra actions on the F keys and by default, it's not F keys, it's the action. So, I mean, that's great for, you know, F1 switching Bluetooth source. You've got your volumes here, open up media player, um, 
doing a screen grab, which is quite helpful. And you've also got the home end page up, page down, which if you're doing some kind of development role or doing a lot of typing, those keys are you know really useful to have available. Um, so that is helpful. But by the same token, I do find things like um, when you do need to use an F key, like if you're doing a false refresh in the browser, um, then that means you it takes a little while to get used to you having to hold down the FN key, the function key, then the con control shift or whatever you need to do. Um, so just a tiny little bit of a learning curve. But that said, this does also come with software that you can uh, install onto your machine and download and you can adjust what these keys do. Now that's more for the additional functions. I'm not sure whether you can set it by default to start using the F key instead, um, but it's just good to know those options are available. So price wise, where does this come in? Well, it's about half the price of the Magic Keyboard, which I always felt was a little bit pricey anyway. Um, and it's a little bit more than the Logitech MX range or the compact keyboard version. With that, you are getting, as I say, you're getting the square keys. You're getting pretty much a very similar keyboard um, with the same functionality of the Bluetooth uh, switch selector. So all in all, I've been happy with this. It doesn't come with um, a mouse or anything like that. So that is something you'd have to do separately and for me that's been just maybe the one pain point because I use uh, let's call a vertical mouse which you know after being on the computer for many many years I find this to be the best way to go these days and unfortunately I can't find a similar vertical keyboard uh, sorry vertical mouse in white that also has a multi-selector bluetooth option so right i believe that covers off everything that needs to be said about this keyboard if you do have any questions please drop us a comment below and i'll answer them as soon as i can and of course if you did find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos like this on tech gear have a good one guys catch you later in the next one peace